Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Uh, today we are going to talk about Python data types. Just wanna, I'm going to have a, an introduction type of a series. Uh, we will cover, uh, try to cover them later, uh, one at a time uh, in detail, right? So yeah, let me go ahead and change this name. And yeah, uh, all these Jupyter notebooks will be available um on my github page or you can go to my uh site on big dot one slash two and then go to github and then one of the repositories you will have it uh, all the series uh for 3.6 3.7 on any future versions i'm planning to have all the notebooks available and make them available there so you, that you can go ahead and download them use them and with the series they'll be very helpful um so first we are what we are going to do here is we are going to have a table i'm just going to copy paste it here from my notes shift enter so you have immutable data types and then you have mutable data types immutable is something where you can't change them they are what they are uh, you are going to use them you, you can make a copy of it and then enter the modification or a modified copy of it but you can't change the original data uh, they are the immutable types uh, such types are boolean where you get true or false you can't make it half true half false something it's true or either false then you have integer one two four etc then you have float that is 0 0.3 1.8 1.5 uh, tuple is something which gets not a, uh, it's like a dictionary but it's immutable you will see it in uh, these parentheses brackets then you have string uh, that is python one two three hey whatever right so this uh, string is also immutable then you have frozen set so again as you can see here set is mutable that you can change it but if you freeze it and make it frozen right you mention it like this frozen and then it will be locked you can't change it so frozen set is also an immutable data type so mutable mutable what is mutable mutable is a modifiable adaptable adjustable alterable changeable elastic flexible fluid malleable pliable so whichever word is more dear to you remember that mutable is something which you can alter right so there are two types one is list another one is set list is the most famous one so yeah then you have uh, mutable objects right so let me get here okay i gotta change this okay i'm gonna say escape uppercase that is caps lock on m caps lock off shift enter okay yeah, that's a shortcut <laughs> not so shortcut but kind of a keyboard shortcut to change from markdown to raw to code anyway so yeah mutable objects list dictionary set byte array immutable objects uh, integer float complex um, string tuple frozen set so yeah frozen set is immutable version of set and then bytes right so did I miss anything? List, dictionary. Okay, I mean, you can mention dictionary here too, but yeah, so. Then you have, uh, what else? Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, define them, right? So what are they? Um, assuming that, uh, so let's say somebody is going to ask you to define them. List, so what is list? List is an ordered and mutable collection which allows duplicates. So then uh, the only difference between list and tuples is uh, you can say tuple is a mutable uh, or immutable list or list is a mutable tuple. Apart from that, like, you know, both are same. Mm, a tuple is more efficient. It's um, what do you say, uh, very light on your system, whereas list is a bit uh, heavy. Uh, we will cover that later. R, I have said, you know, tuple is an immutable list. Uh, list is a mutable tuple. Then set is an unordered, unindexed collection of, uh, collection which allows no duplicates, right? So set here, as you can see, it allows duplicates. List, tuple allows duplicates. Set doesn't allow duplicates. So if you have, if they give you a list or so let's say tuple, remove all the duplicates, you just convert it to set and then convert it back to whatever it was, list or tuple, then you're done. So again, dictionary. Dictionary is an unordered, mutable, changeable, 
indexed collection which allows no duplicates no duplicates again here so just like that it's unordered mutable you know uh, and indexed uh, no it's unindexed but it's indexed collection so the difference between set and dictionary is something which we are going to see later then you have sequence data types or if somebody asks you okay what's to see what are the sequence data types then you have list tuple and range x range is dead in 3.x the later versions of 3.x so nobody's going to ask you hopefully and then uh, i'm going to put out a table for you here uh for and then explain it all right change it here okay so uh, these are some of the functions that we are going to use heavily um, later. Um, most of these are common to most of these. <laughs> Again, all of these are not applicable to all of these. Uh, so yeah, uh, all uh, returns true if all items in the list are true. Right? It checks the boolean and it says any. That means if any item in the given collection, uh, given list is true, are given top you know enumerate is assign an index to each item in the list and return that key value list right so then what we have here is uh, hmm, yeah length so return the length of a list at how, how many items are there maximum returns the largest item in the list uh, when i say largest it doesn't have to be an integer uh, let's say it has some strings uh, like names then based on the size of the in string the uh, the biggest or the largest will be uh, given to you or returned to you minimum the opposite of max returns the smallest item in the list sorted returns a sorted list so you have uh, a list let's say uh, the numbers are all jumbled up they're not in order you can apply the sorted and it will return a sorted list list dot sort sorts a given list similar uh, to sorted but not the same sum returns the sum of all items in a list uh, assuming that all the items in a list are integers it returns the sum of all of them uh, list uh, in bracket you give something let's say a tuple a set or whatever it converts that to a list list dot append x if you want to add um, or append an item x to the end of the list then this is what you use list dot pop pops out the last item of the list so whatever the append has added right it just pops it out list dot insert i comma x inserts element x into the list at index i as you can see append always adds item at the end but if you don't want to add add an item at the end but you want to add it a third place fourth place or let's say first place zeroth place whatever right then you can say let's say i want to add i want to insert an item at uh, fifth place and the item is 15 so i say list dot insert um, in parenthesis 5 comma 15 list dot reverse um, um, by default uh, what it does is it reverses a list let's say a list is one two three four when you apply this list dot reverse on it it will make it four three two one by default uh, oh well, we will look uh, at those in detail later when we encounter a list then you have rem a list dot remove in parenthesis x you want to remove x from the list this is what you apply list dot count x that means it will count how many times x has uh, appeared in the list list dot index x it will tell you the index at which the list is uh, i mean the x is at Let's say one, two, three, four is a list, and you say list dot index in parenthesis two, and then it will return one because why? I will tell you later when we encounter list. Right? Then comes Python casting, the casting iron. You have Python casting here. Hmm. So what is casting? Casting is specifying a data type onto a variable. This is done via constructor functions, right? This is what we have here. Markdown. Let's say I have 
a equals to right and uh, if I print a that's it prints out two and then if I want to check what type of data it is I can use type and it tells me that it's an integer what if I want to make it a string see what happened here then uh, it became a string how do I know that let's say I do this it tells me that the type of data is string what if I want to convert that to a float huh so what I would say is float a became 2.0 as you see the data type here float means you will have decimals there right decimal placement then let's say there is a float here 2.8 I want to convert that to an integer it became 2 you just remove the decimal and whatever that comes after the decimal right so let's have another table you don't have to like memorize these just have a look at them um, later it will be there at the back of your head when we uh, go through these data types in detail then this will all you, know, you will have a flashback right so um from type to type supported so what kind of conversion can you do can you convert an int to a string yes int to a float yes float to int true float to string true string to integer false obviously <laughs> i can't let's say this is um type mm, python can i convert this to a number no it doesn't make any sense mm, so then you have can i convert string to a float no if i can uh, can't convert a string to an integer uh, then obviously I can't convert a string to a float right string to an integer if string is numeric integer so can I convert um, so let's say a string a equals 2 right and a uh, let's say I'll do this a equals this 2 not that 2 I will delete that and I will say type a here is string what i will do here is um int a hooray but i can't do this it's a b equals uh meow right m-e-o-w <laughs> let's say let me tell you python huh? then if i type b then i say type b right it's a string can i convert that to um, integer obviously not because the members uh whatever that constitutes this string has um alphas in it they're alphabetics it doesn't have just numbers it should have only numbers then you can do that right then string if string is numeric integer then you can also convert to float obviously mm. float i uh, say two yep it works right that's what i meant here so uh that's all i had for now uh, thank you for tuning in you have a great one